Marcello Gandini was a designer of dreams, drawing up some of the most iconic automobiles ever made. Today we take you for a walk through some of his most iconic creations to bring our top five most iconic cars designed by Marcello Gandini. Marcello Gandini was one of the most renowned Italian car designers. He joined the Batone Styling House in 1965 at the age of 27 and remained with them for 14 years, only leaving with them to start his own styling house named Klama. Klama was a mixture of his wife's first name and his first name. His wife's first name was Claudia and his name was of course Marcello's, therefore Cla for Claudia, Ma for Marcello, Klama. Marcello Gandini was renowned for his wedge style designs and he also inaugurated the infamous Lamborghini scissor doors. During his career, Marcello Gandini created some of the most incredible icons including the Ferrari 308 GT4, the Lamborghini Miura, Diablo, Countach, Espada and Uraco, the Lancia Stratos, the Fiat X19, the Renault Supersank and of course the De Tomaso Pantera SI, that being the updated version of the De Tomaso Pantera. Marcello Gandini also moved across some other sectors and is well known for designing the interior of certain nightclubs and a certain helicopter called the Helisport. Marcello Gandini lived a very long and fruitful life, only dying earlier this year in March 2024 at the age of 85. And today we celebrate some of his most renowned work. In at number five is the 1970 BMW Garmisch Concept. Gandini styled the Garmisch while he was working at Bertone and you can see he's brought across some of his Lamborghini styling cues to the Garmisch. When looking at the side profile, it's very sleek and clean, but when you look at the front, you can see that Gandini's implemented elongated hexagon shapes for the radiator grille. And these hexagon shapes were of course design cues that he used for Lamborghini. Flanked either side of this elongated hexagon shapes for the radiator grille are these large square headlamps. Other interesting design cues that are implemented by Gandini for the Garmisch are if you look at the rear C-pillars, you've got these sports style type louvres in the rear C-pillars and Gandini also styled this large honeycomb mesh across the whole rear screen of the Garmisch. And of course a honeycomb is made up of hexagons. Again, here Gandini implemented his Lamborghini styling design cues. The Garmisch set the design cues for BMW for the next 20 years. And although it's most apparent in the 1972 5 series, if you look at the current M3 and M4, you can see they still implement that awkward kidney shaped style design for the radiator grill. With regards to the Garmisch concept design, Gandini stated, and I quote, we wanted to create a modern mid-sized coupe that was faithful to BMW's design language, but that was also more dynamic and even a bit provocative. The Garmisch concept was unveiled at the 1970 Geneva Motor Show, but seemingly disappeared soon after. BMW recognized the importance of this design and recreated it for the 2019 Villa de Est Concourse, only having a few photos to go by. The Garmisch concept design shows that Gandini was always thinking ahead of his time, and this is even more apparent as we move further up our top five list today. In at number four is the Lancia Stratos. Lancia typically used Pininfarina for its design, but it wanted to move in a different direction for the Lancia Forva's replacement car, which was gonna be implemented for rallying. But Tony realized this and they knew that if they developed something radical for Lancia that they could build out a long and fruitful relationship. Bertone decided to create a real eye-watering design for Lancia to win them over. And when Giovanni Bertone himself turned up at the Lancia gates with the Strata Zero concept, it was met with rapturous applause. The Strata Zero concept was very much a Gandini design with its accentuated wedge-shaped styling. And it actually implemented the Lancia Fulvia running gear for the concept car. Lancia agreed to create the Fulvia's replacement, the Lancia Stratos, with Bertone based on Marcello Gandini's designs. At this stage, Marcello Gandini had already designed the Lamborghini Miura and was working on the Countach. Lancia then presented the Stratos HF prototype at the 1971 Turin Motor Show. The final design of the Lancia Stratos actually shares a lot of design cues with the Lamborghini Miura. It implements the dual clamshell design and it also implements the bullhorn design implemented with the Lamborghini Miura with the doors and with the Lancia Stratos in the glass around the doors. Different note of Lamborghini Miura, the Lancia Stratos had a very steep low front end, so much so that it was substantially lower than the upper part of the front footwell. Marcello Gandini also had an extensive hand in styling out the 
the Lancia Stratos rally cars. And as we know, the Lancia Stratos had a very successful rallying career, winning the three successive World Rally Championships from 1974 to 1976. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give the video a thumbs up, very important for our channel. And if you like our style of content, please think about subscribing. Now back to the video. In at number three is the Lamborghini Diablo. As with the Lamborghini Mura and the Lamborghini Countach, Marcello Gandini was engaged to design the Lamborghini Diablo. However, it was sensitive times at Lamborghini and Chrysler had just taken over Lamborghini and they weren't too happy with the aggressive styling deployed by Marcello Gandini. So they decided to take the styling back to their headquarters at Detroit to soften the edges. However, even with rounded corners and softened styling, you can still see that this design screams Marcello Gandini. Interestingly, Marcello Gandini deployed that initial Diablo design later on with the Suzetta Moroda V16T. You decide what you think looks best. The Diablo earned the reputation of being a widow maker and this was not only due to 500 brake horsepower going via a manual gearbox directly to the rear wheels but also similar to Marcello's Gandini's design for the Lamborghini Countach, the rear of the Diablo is substantially wider than the front and with very bad rearward visibility that's made the Lamborghini Diablo very hard to maneuver. At number two I think this is going to shock you because I think you would believe this to be number one but in at number two is the Lamborghini Miura. We believe the Lamborghini Miura to be the most beautiful automotive design ever, and possibly one of the most beautiful man-made designs. Marcello Gandini designed the Lamborghini Miura in just two days at the age of 27 while working at Batoni. The Lamborghini Miura is classed as supercar genesis and as such is the first ever mid-engined two-seater rear-wheel drive exotic car. Without the Lamborghini Miura, there would have been no Dino 246 GT and no downstream Ferrari mid-engine supercars. It inspired a whole new generation of automotive design that was only to be accelerated with the next offering from Lamborghini, and that was, of course, the Lamborghini Countach, also designed by Marcello Gandini. We recently reviewed and drove a Lamborghini Miura P400. I'll put a link in the description below. Please see that video for additional information on the Lamborghini Miura. In our first position of our top five most iconic designs by Marcello Gandini is the Lamborghini Countach. The Lamborghini Countach is one of the most iconic designs ever. If the Lamborghini Miura was supercar genesis, then the Lamborghini Countach inspired a whole new generation of automotive design to come. The Lamborghini Countach was well known for its wedge-shaped design, and this was carried on forward to downstream derivatives like the LP640 Lamborghini Murcielago, and this created a whole new design language to come for the future. Interestingly, unlike other Lamborghini model names that have a reference to bullfighting, Lamborghini Countach has a reference to the Beardmontese dialect expression contact, which actually translates to wow. The Countach had its first debut at the 1971 Geneva Motor Show. However, it took the Lamborghini engineers of over three years to finalize and refine that prototype to a production ready model in 1974 called the LP400. Much like with the Lamborghini Miura, Marcello Gandini managed to pen a provocative, innovative design that left everybody speechless. The provocative design of the Lamborghini Countach takes most of the credit as to why the car is now worth between 500,000 and 1 million pounds along with the fact that it's been heavily featured in pop culture, especially in films such as The Cannibal Run, King Fury, and of course, the infamous Wolf of Wall Street. To set some context as to how innovative Marcello Gandini's design was of the Lamborghini Countach, the Countach developed 400 brake horsepower at the rear wheels, whereas cars of that era, the Corvettes and the Mustangs were only producing around 200 brake horsepower. So the Lamborghini Countach was creating twice the brake horsepower of its competitors. Do you agree with our top five being the most iconic designs by Marcello Gandini? Let us know in the comments below.